on the fourth year PhD student working with Professor Pariman Parav in the area of uh, scheduling in heterogeneous systems. And today I'll walk you through my work on analysis of four joint scheduling in heterogeneous parallel surface. So this is what a typical four joint system looks like. Whenever there is a task that I will, it is subdivided into some K or subtasks and assigned to any K um, servers from the existing N servers. And the task is assumed to be completed only when all the K subtasks have been completed. So uh, this kind of uh, systems, they have very, they have got very popular because of the um, rise in um, different the kind of workloads. Like heterogeneous systems, they, they will perform a wider range of computing tasks more efficiently due to their diverse processing capabilities, ranging from elementary data processing to complex algorithms in artificial intelligence and machine learning. So in parallel computing systems, um, the, the major challenge that occurs is the overall task completion time, and it is limited by the slow servers. So in heterogeneous systems, this um, challenge is even more uh, enhanced because of the existence of different processing speeds. So uh, the question or the challenge over here is to come up with a scheduling policy which would optimize the task completion time by maximizing the efficiency and the resource utilization. So these are some of the related works in this field. There are many um, load balancing strategies uh, which are applied to in homogeneous systems. However, uh, they come up, they come with some of the constraints like uh, they require, they have a huge query overhead because of state information required. And uh, in heterogeneous systems, when you, uh, when these load balancing strategies are extended to the heterogeneous system, they result in suboptimal performance. And uh, again, um, over the uh, over the last few years, there has been a lot of research in order to reduce this query overhead. So our uh, policy is um, novel in the way that um, it we it is a load balancing strategy in uh, heterogeneous system, which involves um, which takes into account the subdivision of tasks. This is what our probabilistic policy looks like. Whenever a task arrives. It's divided into K subtasks, and with some probability PS, which is the uh, closed server selection probability, we assign it to a closed server, or with the probability one minus PS, it is assigned to a fast server. And um, then the, our objective is to, or goal, is to find the optimal selection probability, which minimizes the mean task completion time. Now, the, these are just a few of our key contributions. We have uh, proved asymptotic independence for the stationary workload distribution, and uh, we analytically computed the limiting mean task completion time. And uh, we also provided an upper bound on the limiting mean response time and identified the selection probability, which minimizes this bound. So uh, let's take an example. It's a toy example. Suppose we have uh, the task is subdivided into three subtasks, and uh, uh, the subtasks have been assigned to server one, two, and four. So our task completion time would have been the max of these three, max of T3, one, T3, two, and T3, four. However, this would, it, it could have been a very trivial um, uh, problem if they were all independent, finding the max of the three random variables, right? But then the question is, um, the challenge arises because these are all coupled since they, uh, the subtasks have been allocated to all the three uh, servers here, and um, simultaneously they are all coupled, and hence finding the and a closed form expression for the uh, task completion time is uh, it's very it's very challenging. So we showed asymptotic independence of workload at any of the k queues for a large number of servers, and we leveraged this to find the expression for uh, mean task completion time. This is what the theorem for the symptomatic independence looks like. And uh, this is the expression for our mean task completion time. Like, but you can see that it is um, like, it is difficult to, it is uh, difficult to uh, find a closed form for this. That's why we found uh, an upper bound on it and found the uh, selection probability, which minimized that upper bound. Now, in order to um, in order to validate asymptotic independence, we ran numerical studies as well as empirical uh, simulations, and we found that 
Now you can see in this plot that we have uh, plotted the mean task completion time on the y axis and the close hour selection probability on the x axis. You can see that the theoretical results, which are um, plotted as the solid lines, and the simulation results, which are the dashed lines, they are very close to each other. And this asymptotic independence holds not only for when k is in the order of n raised to 1 by 4, but we saw that it also um, holds for other order, other scaled values of n. And then we also plotted the approximate, the optimal slow server selection probability um, as, uh, as a function of arrival rate. And we found that the, for this we calculated for the, this expression is for the exponentially distributed service time. We also found it for, for uh, shifted exponential service time. So TS hat is basically the approximate optimal slow server selection probability. And we see that the approximate optimal slow server selection probability and the optimal slow server selection probability are pretty close to each other. And we also have results for uh, where we have varied the fraction of slow servers. In the early results, we have used the fraction of slow servers as 0.5, that is 50% of the uh, total servers are uh, slow and the rest 50% are fast. But then we also checked for different um, uh, fraction of slow servers and we found pretty good results. So, we, um, so to conclude, we uh, showed that the joint distribution of the stationary workload across KQs becomes asymptotically independent as the number of servers n grows and k is an order of n raised to 1 by 4. We derived an upper bound of the limiting mean response time and identified the selection probability PS that minimized this bound. And we ran experiments and uh, uh, numerical studies to confirm, to validate our uh, results. Thank you.